we have already designed the up counters and down counters separately in the previous presentations. In this lecture, I will teach you how to have a 3-bit and 4-bit up down ripple counters. This ripple is for asynchronous counters. The clock is not simultaneous to all the flip-flops. And up down means this counter that we are going to design can count up as well as it will count down. So it is a very important presentation because in in practice both these modes are combined the down counting and the up counting are not separate but there is a common circuit for it and depending upon the mode control input M used to select the up or down mode this mode control input will decide whether the circuit whether the counter will do the up counting or it will do the down counting so we require a combinational circuit between each pair of flip-flops that's why I have left some space here and we have to find out the combinational circuit that we have to use in order to select QA or QA complement which will be given to the clock of the next flip-flop that is my B flip-flop in the same way we will use the same combinational circuit which will decide whether QB or QB complement is to be given as the clock so this is our aim in this presentation we have to design a combinational circuit in which the input is Q Q complement and M. This M is the mode control input. Q and Q complement is the is the output of previous flip-flop. And this Y, the output of this combinational circuit, is given to the next flip-flop. So the first thing that we have to do is to find out this combinational circuit. Then we will insert this combinational circuit between the pair of the flip-flops and our job is done. So I will make one table for this purpose. So let's make it. The first input is M, the mode control input, then Q, and then Q complement as there are three inputs definitely we have eight possible combinations so let's write all the possible combinations 0 1 0 1 0 then 0 1 1 then we have the next four combinations as 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and then 1 1 one these are the eight possible combinations now how we can decide the output y what is the logic we have to first set some logic then we have to find the y so i am telling you that whenever the value of m whenever the value of m is equal to zero it will do the up counting it will do the up counting and whenever the value of m is equal to one or it is high it will do the down counting so this is what I have decided and we will use this logic in our table and finally we will have a K map and our combinational circuit so I can say whenever M is 0 Q is connected to clock of the next flip-flop and whenever we have M equal to 1 it means down counting Q complement Q complement is connected to the clock of the next flip-flop so let's try to have the values of my output y m is 0 for the first four cases and when m is 0 you can see up counting and we already know there is up counting only when q is connected to the clock so I will write Q as my output 0 0 1 1 because this Y will act as the clock for the next flip-flop and when M is equal to 1 it will do the down counting and Q complement is equal to my Y and for the last four cases M is equal to 1 so I have to take Q complement that is 0 1 0 1 so we have our output now we can easily have a 8 cell K map and we can have the function y which is minimized so I will make a 8 cell k map and the inputs are m q q complement m is the msb so we have to write m here q complement is the lsb so we have to write it here so 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 now let's fill this k map then we will do the pairing 0 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 1 then we have 0 1 0 1 
so 0 1 0 or 1 a very simple k map we have two pairs the first one is this and the second one is this let's call it 1 and then 2 so the function y is equal to 1 or 2 we will first find out 1 and it gives us m complement m complement and uh, we have uh, q because q complement is changing from 1 to 0 so m complement q or let's find out for the second pair we have m because m is 1 for this row and uh, then q is changing from 0 to 1 so it is 1 and we will not write it in our function and q complement is 1 so I will write q complement so our y is equal to m complement and q or m and q complement now we will implement this logic in between our flip-flops so let's do it first of all we have to make a control input so I will write M here and uh, I will use a NOT gate that will give us M complement so let's first make it then we will uh, use AND and OR gate to implement the obtained logic this will give me M and this will give me M complement now we have the first min term as M complement Q so I will use a AND gate here this is my AND gate and uh, for the second min term also I will use a 2 input AND gate ok and this is M complement Q so I will give Q and M complement now we will implement the second min term it is M Q complement so Q complement and then we have M so this AND gate is giving me QA M complement and this AND gate is giving me QA complement M so the last thing that we have to do is to use OR gate I am using OR gate to input OR gate and this OR gate will go to the clock of the uh, next flip flop and the inputs are the output of this two and gate so here I am having the function y and y we have to feed this y to the clock of the next flip flop and the same thing I am doing here so this is the logic that will decide whether we have to do the up counting or the down counting in the same way we have to implement this logic here also so let me do it quickly then we will see what is happening depending upon the value of m two and gate are required and one OR gate is required this is a 3 bit up down asynchronous counter because I am using 3 flip flops if you want a 4 bit up down asynchronous counter you have to use 4 flip flops in the same way so you will use another flip flop here and you have to implement this combinational logic once more but now we have to implement it only 2 times so this is QB and then we have M complement so here I am having QB M complement this is QB complement and we have to give M here so I am having QB M and the output of this OR gate is fed to the clock of the next flip flop so this is a complete circuit diagram for your 3 bit asynchronous up down counter now let's see when M is equal to 1 when M is 1 it means here I am having 1 whereas here I'm having a 0 so this AND gate will give me 0 because it is M complement QA so it is 0 and this AND gate will give me QA complement and 0 or QA complement is definitely equal to QA complement so the QA complement is given as the clock to the next flip flop and definitely it is down counting and here also I'm having 1 and a 0 so this is equal to 0 and this is equal to QB this is QB complement QB complement and again you can see QB complement is fed as the clock to the next flip flop and it is down counting and I have already written here when M is equal to 1 it will perform the down counting and when M is equal to 0 it will perform up counting you can check whether it is performing up counting or not you have to only replace this 1 by 0 and this 0 by 1 and again this is 0 and then 
1 you will find that QA is fed as the input to the next flip-flop and QB is fed as the input to the next flip-flop and we have the up counting so this is all that you have to keep in your mind regarding the up down counter and uh, this is a very important topic because in the same circuit you are having the up as well as down counting so I think this is all for this presentation see you in the next one